Hi there and welcome to our week ending episode of Hoo-Ha Sports Today where we will look at the Premier League fixtures on match day 2 this weekend. But first, our congratulations to Queen's Park Rangers and also Tony Fernandez. The deal was done yesterday, the 18th of August and I'll tell you the significance of that in a bit. But it's all over the back pages in the UK dailies. As reported by The Guardian, it was a mere £35 million acquisition of a 66% stake formerly held by Flavio Briatore and Bernie Eccleston. And the Air Asia boss vows to look into the contentious ticket price before their next home game and wants to reconnect with the disenfranchised fans, quote-unquote. Well, we here know him to be a very approachable person and puts a lot of faith in talented people. However, let's not take any anything away from the disenchanted fans. We checked out your Facebook page, Rangers fans have set up a number of different accounts, but I picked QPR FC. These guys are just over the moon. Like Julie Allen, will somebody just pinch her already? And she is also impressed by the speed Tony is handling things, while Mike Shoyer comments great result off the pitch, now for points on it. And we also know that Tony is an avid tweeter, so I peeked into his posts. Nothing much about the takeover, but remember, I mentioned earlier about the significance of his takeover date? Cheeky, how he retweeted an interesting statement by Wembley 68. Guess Loftus Road, better get used to saying Fernandez Day. I wonder what song tune they'll be singing for Fernandez. That's just plain cheesy. The club is on a high now where hope has turned into optimism at Loftus Road. But like they say, the proof will be in the pudding. Right, time to look at the tail end of the business this weekend's fixtures in the Premier League. Rangers' first match under Tony will take them to Goodison Park where Everton will get their season underway after last week's postponement with Spurs. But the big one this weekend, one of three actually, first up undoubtedly is between the so-called title contenders, Arsenal versus Liverpool. They could cancel each other out in this one, but I think it's Liverpool who will just nick it. Elsewhere, Chelsea will take on West Brom, Aston Villa will put more pressure on Blackburn, while the second big one this weekend is the time where derby between Sunderland and Newcastle. On Sunday, the third big one is a top-of-the-table clash. <laughs> uh, well, that's what the league standings show, albeit they've only played one game so far. It's Bolton against Sergio Aguero and Manchester City. Then on Monday night, it's the clash that sees United entertaining Tottenham after Spurs produce a 5 star performance defeating Hearts 5-0 in their first leg Europa League qualifiers last night. And since most of the pundits do it, I'm going to put my two cents worth in predicting the outcome. So, as of this match day two, I'm going to stick my neck out and predict the results. With a renewed vigor, I see Rangers picking up a point in this one, as the team needs to make one to the new bosses as well. The arsenal Liverpool clash? Well, Jovino has got a three-match ban for his altercation with Joey Barton last week, the only good performer from last week as well. And with Fabregas gone and Sami Nasri on the way out, morale could be at an all-time low at the Emirates. So, it's Liverpool to win it by a slim margin. I also think it will be a narrow win for Chelsea, while Villa looks set to win big. Swansea and Wigan will even themselves out while Sunderland have that extra edge over their neighbours and will pick up all three points. I predict away wins for the Sunday fixtures which means City will go top leaving United to keep pace with them. So, the Monday night clash between United and Spurs only leaves me to say no comments. But if the combination of Van der Vaart and Crenshaw produce the same performance as last night, there's no doubt that Spurs won't lose this and neither will they win it. Final score, United, three referees, Spurs, one fourth official. Enough said. And that's it for this week. Um, check in on us on Monday for the results and plus find out how well I fed in my predictions. And I hope you do great as well. Till then, have a great sporting weekend. I'm Patrick for the team saying it's bye for now.